So do you get people dumping stuff in the bin all the time? Not all the time. Just sometimes. Not like that. No, we haven't any dumped nothing for a while. But that, I, I thought this morning, what's that? Yeah, I couldn't lift the bloody thing. Well, me and Sue tried to couldn't lift it. Mm. I'll, I'll let you know in the next hour. Yeah. There we go. Well done. I'm knackered now. Oh yeah. yeah I'm used to that. Hopefully it pays off. Yeah. I'll have them as well. Yeah, so you'll never believe it. There's a bloody they left a monitor in your bin. A TV monitor. And let's say they left a TV monitor in the bin at the back of the charity shop. Not a TV monitor, what's it called? A PC monitor. I've had to go and dig it out to see what it was. And now I'm gonna take it home and see if it works. And if it does, I can buy it. Yeah. There you go. Keep it. It's absolutely mental. Obviously, I wasn't planning to film any of this today because I was just popping in for a nice, chilled, relaxing charity shop session. But this bin just there, I was inside and they said, excuse me, would you mind coming and checking out this big box somebody's dumped in our bloody bin? I'm sick of them doing that. Pulled it out. It's a Samsung curved screen monitor. I was like, oh, I'll buy that. So, but obviously, I don't know if it works or not. Can you test it? She said, take it home, see if it works. Work out a price for me, let me know a good price. I said, no problem. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go and see if this big old curved monitor is working or not. I was dumped in the charity shop bin. There was loads in there as I when I got it out. It was actually like, oh, I just wanna dive in it. But we're not gonna think about that too much. Let's get home and check it out. I did actually spend like 30 quid in there as well. So we'll go and see what we picked up. Plus we'll check to see if the Samsung monitor works. Hopefully somebody came to donate it in working order, realized they were closed and just put it in the bin save it from the rain let's see come on let's go and get these dropped off before we do anything today all right good luck hello where you got lad four oh, or three maybe four honestly it's pretty unbelievable just dumped in the bin curve monitor monitor cobe let's go and have a look let's take the inside Chances are, of course, that it is broken, but the stand's in there. The stand alone can get some money. There's a power lead. Why would they just dump it? Unless they've got a new monitor and just got rid of the old one and put it in the box because there's a similar size. Let's find out. Well, I think what we will do, of course, is just get the monitor out. Right, okay. Let's plug this in. Actually, actually, we'll do, we'll do it over here. We'll plug it in this one because we can leave this lead off and then together we can do the three, two, one, hook and turn it on. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't joking. There's no obvious cracks, but it doesn't mean there's not. Do you know what I mean? Because it could be like the LCD broken, but it's got loads of fingerprints all over it. So it's definitely used. Where's the power supply bit? There. We'll plug that in here. Now, worst case scenario, depending on what's wrong with it, parts, this is like 50 quid. And they won't let me pay for it if it's parts. All right, are you ready? I'm holding it, I'm probably going to explode. Three, two, one. The anti climatic. I can't hold it very well. There we go. I think it's working. HDMI bit up there showing, but there's no cracking or anything displaying, but it doesn't mean there is. Let me get the menu up. I saw a menu button here somewhere. I want to see something in the middle of the screen, do you know what I mean? Right, let me, let me plug something HDR, HDMI in there. So far it's looking all right. It's actually going to fall off that chair. Big scratch in the screen. Not a dent, just a scratch. What can I plug into it? PlayStation. Actually, no, I can plug into it. My MacBook. Where's my HDMI port? I'm guessing. I'm not that technical, but I'm guessing you can like... Share the MacBook screen. Oh shit, it's gonna fall. Pop this into the back of here. It should, I guess, mirror the screen. Being a bit heavy handed here, and I'm kind of stuck with limited space at the minute. HDMI, there it is. So then if I move that onto, there's a line down the middle, just there. Big line going down the middle. I can see it, I just saw it. Well, it's now on HDMI. So do I have to unlock my MacBook to get in there? Yeah, see that massive, there's my MacBook. See the massive line, you can't see it. Straight down the middle, purple line, just here. 
But then again, is that normal? That could just be, I don't know if that's normal, it's right in the middle. Is that how split screens are supposed to be? There you go, you can see it there. Uh, is that how monitors are supposed to be? Split screen like that? Because it is right down the middle. Huh. There you go, I've got an arrow there. Is it supposed to be? Is there supposed to be a, a line down here? Can you see it from there now? I'll show you it. Can you see it? Is there supposed to be a line there? Why is it not bringing Google up on there, but it's bringing it up on here? Is it because I've got no... Wait, if I drag that over here, can I drag Chrome up onto the desktop on mine? Let me go onto here. Let me go to Safari. Let me save that page there. Let me drag that over to here. There's loads of snow around as well. You can't see on here, but there's loads of snow. You can see the line a lot now for doing that. Is that meant to be there though? Samsung Curve Monitor has a purple line down the screen. Let's find out what Google says about it. Hi, as inside like my one to show line, it was disappearing after some time since it's now showed up and is permanent my screen, not disappearing at all. I tried to screenshot, but it's not clear. I really need to fix him. Hi, there are a number of issues that can cause a problem like that. The first problem is you are running the screen off a VGA cable or DVI. It might be worth trying it on the other cable. Now, bear in mind, this came up before I plugged anything into it. Oh, someone says, if you open up the monitor, you're looking for the cable, usually a ribbon cable, that connects the panel itself to the PCB. So power circuit board. Internally, the cable is usually held in with a clip light. It can sometimes help to remove the cable to make sure the contents are clean, then reset it into the connector. It's also not a bad idea to give everything a clean. So it wants me to go in and fix it all, basically. I would open the monitor, but my friend said you'll completely lose your monitor if you open it. Yeah, someone's opened it. So it seems to be it is faulty, but maybe repairable. So I'll let them know. Crazy for a bin find, isn't it? And let's go see what we actually bought. Wild. Still very usable, if you can ignore the purple line. I'll see if I can show you more better. Also, I'm very aware that I just said more better. There you go, see that? All the way down, but it's like perfectly in the middle. So I can't work out if it's supposed to do that. You can maybe remove it, I don't know. No. I've just got off the phone with the hospice shop and they've, I told them what's wrong with it, the purple line and the snowiness, and they said, if you've got someone that can get rid of it, get rid of it. So I am actually gonna try and repair this or find out if that's actually supposed to be like that. Cause it's just too perfect. I reckon it's like a feature you can turn off and on and you can use like split screening. But would you want that when you're watching like films and stuff? What happens if I put a f YouTube video on? I'm on here and I forget I'm on here. Oh, it's hard work. Let's have a look. Let's put a YouTube video on. Look, yeah, you can see the snow there. Let me show you. You see it snowing. I'll mute that. Yeah, it's still there. So it is knackered whoop shooky shooky well there we go it was worth a shot weren't it let's have a look at what we picked up filming entirely on the phone today by the look of it so some under armor shorts two pound they'll sell really quickly for about six to seven on vinted this bag never heard of the brand before but it was three pound 75 two pound 75 it's like a sheep's bum or a lamb's testicle or whatever leopard lining it's by rhino and pell there we go i'm actually filming on the phone today so i'm a little bit janky i'm sure you'll manage and live done a bit of research some of their stuff can command good money 25 35 45 quid depending on what it is it's a small little side clutch bag i not a clutch bag clutch bag means it's got no handles i do believe a little side bag i reckon about 18 quid 2004 Barbie sofa. Now, stick with me. I picked it up for a reason. It is a bit discoloured. A bag full of what looked like Barbie, Cindy, and just random, random pieces. Oh, I don't know whose fingers have been on there. There we go. Who's that? That looks very Barbie-esque. Any print marks on it? 2006 Mattel doggy. This looks like an older one. 1994 Mattel. So little Barbie babies, whatever they are. I think this is like larger Polly Pocket stuff. What's that sound there? Polly Pocket, yeah. And then like, that looks very McDonald's or Burger Kingy made for McDonald's. I know more stuff, don't I? 
That looks very Barbie-esque with the flowers. 2006 Mattel. Just loads and lo just loads and loads and loads of it. So I'll go through that. That whole bag was two quid. So unless I'm just too quick for my own boots, I'll put some screenshots up of anything that I find. If not, then I haven't done it yet. I'll just put the video up. But look, loads of this old vintage Barbie clothing as well. Look at them like 70s flares. Just loads of it. There you go, look, Barbie. There you go, look, Barbie dog food. Loads of accessories, little handbags. What's that? Fishing net, brush. Just loads of bits. That also was two pound. And then of course, you saw me pick these up. We are gonna to check to see if these are working as well today. They do turn on at least, and that one turns on. We're gonna be checking for drift and all those kinds of things. In fact, I'll just tell you in the edit if they work or not, because it's boring to look at that. I've done a shorts video as well. Check out the shorts and you'll see. But these were 10 pound each. So if anybody sees these and they're thinking about getting them for a mega steal, I'm 10 pound each into these. I've got to make some money. They're about 20 quid on eBay, 22 quid, something like that. So I need to sell one of them for around about that. It doesn't have to be fully that because I'm going to keep one for George because this controller's crap. So there we go. That's what I picked up. I am hoping to do a car boot sale tomorrow. Come on, sell, I mean, not buy. I want to sell, but I will buy if I have to. And well, we've got to, we've got to screen. Worst case scenario, I'll spares repairs it with all the details on Marketplace for like 50 quid then go and drop it into the hospice they'll love that but it has made me really want to try bin diving whatever it's called what's it called scavenging basically what's it called bin dipping what's it called there's a word for it trash dive dumps, dumpster diving boom got there in the end i do want to do it but i also can't be asked i say i want to do it i say i want to do a lot of things in life but i never do it because i can't be bothered I have to really want to do something to do it. And I don't really want to do it. I just want to do it. Thought I would show you my sorting process. So we've actually got a nice little bag going on. We've got Barbie, Polly Pocket and Miscellaneous. And I believe these to all be Polly Pockets. And I believe most of this outfit stuff to be for it as well. We've got the clip-ons, the snap-on outfits. Some of them have magnets on, some of them don't. But I've also just found these two, which are from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So you've got Chloe and I believe sabrina herself now i know that shoe goes to chloe because i found the original listings on ebay brand new in the box with the stuff that it comes with but i can't find another shoe but i am going to check as well to see if any of that outfit matches any of that stuff these are quite cool i just spotted them like little string trousers oh but there's a nice little amount of stuff here no idea what this one is yet i don't know if somebody's like put the head on it or not but that's like a really cheap tacky body some tinkerbells these are just corroded you can see that they're all they're rubber but this piece is like well it's just a lot of it's corroded so i'm sorting out the junk but yeah we're gonna be all right I haven't even touched this bag yet some nice little bits to sort no i've been doing some digging i think that one's actually a poly pocket as well we we'll pop that one in there but that is from sabrina the animated series Right, I'm sitting here doing a little bit of work and I've just had an offer come through on Facebook Marketplace. So we have sold the monitor screen. 30 quid, just moving it on, just getting it gone. Out of here, see you later. The charity shop's going to be happy and I'm happy to move it. It's taking up so much bloody space. I can't be bothered to piss around with it. And anything that I did make on it, they were going to get anyway. So they'll be happy with 30 quid. I don't have to squeeze top dollar because I'm not selling it to try and feed my business. Just move it on. So they'll be here shortly to collect that. Buzzing. They'll love that donation tomorrow. And it's gone. Thanks for watching. YouTube reckons you'll love this video for some reason. They're hacked into your algorithm.